In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the construction of a simple yet effective cage designed to protect flowers, vegetables, and small shrubs from that destructive force of nature known as the Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. I'm going to start by building a version of the cage that I believe is the most durable and sturdy, and then introduce a few variations on the theme that can be used in the event that some of the materials or tools are not available. All of the cages have one thing in common, though, and that's that they're formed from two foot tall, one inch spacing chicken wire. I'm using standard galvanized wire, but it's also available in a vinyl coated green color. In this example, I'll be forming a cage with a diameter of approximately 15 inches. To calculate the amount of chicken wire needed for this cage, I'll use the formula for finding the circumference of a circle, which is pi times the diameter. In this case, the circumference is about 47 inches. In order to join the ends of the chicken wire, though, there needs to be a bit of overlap, so I'm going to round up the length of the wire to about 51 inches. I put a couple of weights on top of the end of the chicken wire to keep it in position while it's being unrolled. Once measured, I cut with either mini wire cutters or linesman's pliers. The newly cut section of chicken wire will have a tendency to return to its previous tightly rolled shape. To counteract that slightly and make it easier to work with, I'll briefly flip the material over. Next, I'm going to roll the cage into a circle, overlapping the ends by a couple of inches, and secure the two ends together at the top and bottom with cable ties. Now I'm going to attach a three foot long, one and a quarter inch wide wooden stake. This was cut from a dog-eared cedar fence picket, which is available at many big box home improvement centers. If you can't find these or don't have access to a table saw, white wood furring strips may also be an option. These won't hold up to the elements nearly as well though, and they certainly won't smell as good. With the stake positioned along the seam of the cage and flush with the top edge, I drive half inch stainless steel staples to pin the chicken wire to the wood. I tend to leave the end of the stake blunt, as I'm usually installing cages in recently tilled soil, but the end could also be cut to a point to make driving the stake a little easier. At this point, the cage is ready for installation. I center the cage with respect to the plant and push the stake into the soil as far as possible. I then use a standard claw hammer to drive the stake in further until the bottom of the cage is in contact with the soil. For additional stability and protection, I like to use six inch landscape staples to secure the bottom of the cage to the ground. One variation on this design substitutes a plant and garden stake for the wood stake. This eliminates the need for wood, a table saw, and a staple gun. Simply form the cage as in the previous example, and then weave the plant and garden stake through the chicken wire along the point where the two ends overlap. This particular stake is way too long, but they are available in shorter lengths. Finally, the second variation foregoes staking entirely and relies solely upon landscape staples for support. This is certainly the weakest of the designs, but it is the cheapest and easiest. Since there is no stake, a few more cable ties are helpful to keep the ends of the chicken wire joined together. In settled, relatively high clay content soil, six inch landscape staples keep the cage pretty secure. In soil that's loamy, sandy, or just freshly tilled, it's probably much less so. Now some might consider these cages to be an eyesore. I actually find the galvanized wire cedar stake combination to be fairly attractive. But if visibility is a concern, reducing the height of the cage to one foot and using green chicken wire may be a viable option. I have experimented with shorter cages, and so far they've done their job. So if rabbits are wreaking havoc on certain plants in your yard, don't get mad, get a cage.